Greetings everybody, Punisher Comics here, and happy Monday. Or at least for some of you out there, I mean, I know a lot of you, including myself, are dealing with snow at the moment. I mean, we got hit pretty hard here last night, and that's actually a reason why I'm only doing this video today instead of yesterday. Now, to be honest, I did try and upload a video yesterday, but because of the weather, uh, the, the internet was not the greatest, and it would have taken forever to upload a video. So, I decided to scrap everything and start fresh today. Now, before we dive into things, I gotta explain something to everyone, and that is, for the next little while, there's gonna be a slight change here on the channel. But don't worry, it's not permanent, this is only temporary, but, um... Yeah, there's going to be a slight change, and that change is the type of videos I'm going to be doing. Because you see, this morning, when I went to turn on my laptop to do this video, it once again decided to crap out on me. Now, I know some of you may remember a little while back, I actually took a hiatus uh, to do some repairs on my laptop. Um, I needed to get a new fan installed. <laughs> Wi-Fi card. Well, this time around, it's the power unit, and uh, that's not good. Uh, basically, if I run my laptop with a faulty power unit, at least from what I read on Google, uh, it can overheat, and well, overheating is not good. So, until I repair my laptop or decide to get a brand new one, uh, I'm stuck to making my videos here on my cell phone. And uh, basically, since I have to use my cell phone, I decided I wanted to do simple videos that I could upload straight to YouTube. So that's why I'm going to be doing haul videos. And um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's all there is to say about that. <laughs> so, now that we got that out of the way, I got my coffee here with me. And I got a little stack of books to show you. Now, the books I'm going to be showing you today uh, are mostly modern books. But there is one in here that uh, I actually had to order off of eBay. Because I wasn't quick enough to actually asking my shop to put aside a copy for me. And there's also a back issue in here that is the first check off my top 10 list of 2019. Yes, I actually decided to do a top 10 list this year. I didn't do one last year because I was like, ah, whatever. And the one I did for 2017, I never completed it because, uh, you know, things just got all mixed up and whatnot. But this year, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do one and I'm going to see by December 31st if I'm actually able to complete my list along with trying to complete certain runs here and there so who knows anyway so enough chit chat let's take a swig of coffee and I'm in no way trying to steal Mr. Uh, Bueller's shtick with the whole coffee and comics on a Monday <laughs> as much as it looks like I am <laughs> but I'm not anyway so the first book we have here is from Arctic Press, and when these come out, I always try and pick them up because I just, I just love them. They're they're funny, and yeah, whatever. So we have the tremendous Trump one shot, which, um, as you can see here, uh, they're doing a amazing cover swipe of uh, the the equally awesome um, Hulk. King Size Annual Number 1, which is done by the equally awesome Jim Starenko. And because I'm a huge fan of Starenko's work, when I saw this, I was like, there's no doubt that's not coming home. <laughs> and um, I also have the other two Arctic Press books, Arctic Press uh, Trump books, uh, starting with How the Trump Stole Christmas. And I actually ordered this off their website, and um, I decided to go with the, the red cover. Uh, I could have gone with the, the shiny gold cover as well, but I like the red one instead. 
And of course, the first one they put out, uh, which cover swipes, um, of course, the Incredible Hulk number one. So, uh, yeah, just really cool stuff. Next, uh, we have Spawn Kills Everyone 2, number one. <laughs> Uh, this is a, and this is actually a four-part series now. I have the first Spawn Kills Everyone, which was a one-shot. But I guess old Big Toddy there decided, hey, that was a success. Let's build on it. So, so yeah. So we got part one of four here. And actually, I know part two came out last week. I don't have it here with me, but I do have a copy waiting for me at my LCS, so, uh, yeah, and I, I read this the other day, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> funny stuff, uh, next, we have what I think was, uh, the highly anticipated book for, I think it was last week or the week before when it came out, and that is, of course, Conan the Barbarian number one, uh, I read this yesterday, and I actually really, enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story. Uh, again, me not being the biggest Conan reader slash collector, this was really my first ever Conan book I ever read. Um, the only other Conan book I own is, I think, Conan, or is it King Conan? No, it's it's Conan the Barbarian. I think it's like issue 143 or whatever from the Mar the original Marvel run. And it's part of the uh, Assistant Editor's Month. So that's the only other Conan book I own. So this was like my first real reading of any Conan. And again, I thought it was really good. Uh, I have seen mixed comments of it online. Some say it's good. Some say this is not their Conan or whatnot. But... Well, it is what it is. And I was really interested because when I was reading it, excuse me, I saw in February, I think they're going to be doing Savage Conan. So I'll probably pick up the first issue of that run as well. I'm only sticking to this issue uh, just because I don't want to be, again, collecting too many new series or whatnot. So um, as much as I thought the story was really good, I'm sticking to issue number one. Maybe somewhere down the road, I'll, I'll pick up the other issues, you know, in back issue bins or whatnot. I mean, I, I was just watching a comics with Bueller's uh, 50 Cent Dive video, and he found the new Fantastic Four number one already in a 50 Cent bin. So, who knows, you know? But, uh, yeah. And another thing I thought was really cool on the whole reprint front um because marvel is celebrating its 80th anniversary uh it appears that there's going to be some i think they're reprints of old maybe like timely issues coming out and i love that marvel is going to be doing that in fact there's a book in this pile i'm going to get to soon and i'll explain more on that but, uh, yeah, I think there's, like, six six different uh, old-school, like, timely comics that they're reprinting. And you know I'm going to try and get every single one of them. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. Uh, next, we have one of two uh, Phil Notto variants that I picked up. Uh, these are, of course, tying in with the whole 80th anniversary of Marvel. And uh, Phil Notto is doing these um awesome variants and there's 12 in total and i'm trying to get all 12 of them because uh as much as they're connecting covers they don't connect in the you know traditional style of all lined up in one row no they make a 12 panel grid and the picture looks amazing and yeah i'm trying to get all 12 of them and i watch i want to actually try and find a frame to put them in and hang it up somewhere on my wall because I think it'll look amazing and uh, this I believe is the Immortal Hulk number 11 variant and it's just awesome seeing Cap and Bucky they even got Whizzer on there 
and I believe this is um, this is either Phantom Eagle. I think it's Phantom Eagle because I wanted to say Phantom Eagle or Enemy Ace, but Enemy Ace was DC. So yeah, I think that's Phantom Eagle. Anyway, just really cool. And then the other Phil Notto variant I picked up, I think this is uh, the newest issue of Champions. I don't read Champions, I just got it because of the cover, and it's equally awesome. I mean, you got the Human Torch, and Namor, and that's either Rawhide Kid or Kid Cole Outlaw. I could be wrong, but for those of you out there who do know, let me know in the comments. So that's that, and I saw what all 12 of them look like together. Oh, so nice. The centerpiece looks really nice, and actually, I have waiting for me in my bin at my shop three other of the Nauto variants, so really can't wait to start putting that together. Uh, next, I got a couple issues of uh, the newest Captain America run, because... Next to the Immortal Hulk, this is also uh, another one of my favorite series going on right now. And uh, it's one of the only other modern series that I'm really collecting. Uh, this, the Immortal Hulk, and the Punisher. From Marvel, anyway. So here we have Captain America number four. And we also have Captain America number six. So... I just need issue three now, and the variant, uh, not variant, sorry, uh, the annual that came out not too long ago, and then I'm I'm all caught up. But uh, yeah, really, really liking this series. Uh, Coates on writing is doing really good, and of course, Alex Ross doing these covers is just so nice. And speaking of The Punisher, I got issue number five. And I still need issue number six, but that's that's waiting for me in my bin. There's my coffee. Oh, yeah. Now, the next book we have here is Amazing Spider-Man 800. I finally picked mine up. But uh, I made a switch when it comes to the cover. Now, I had this sitting in my bin for quite a while now. And the cover I had waiting for me was the regular cover, which was the Alex Ross cover. Now, no no hate, or I'm not throwing any shade on Alex Ross, because Alex Ross is uh, Alex Ross. <laughs> but I was looking on the, um, on the shelves at my shop, and they still had a bunch of the uh, variants to Spidey 800. Now, one of the variants I really liked was the uh, Mobius cover, but they didn't have any more of that one. So I'm looking through all of the ones they had, and this one really stood out to me. So I asked them if I could make the switch, and they were like, yeah, no problem. So I switched out the Alex Ross cover for the John Romita cover. I just, I really like this variant. I mean, the background covers, the way they fade, it's just a really warm feel to it and then of course the way Gwen Stacy is drawn here is just beautiful and the way Spidey's drawn too just really 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 nice so when I saw this and it was the only one they had I was like yep uh, I think I'm gonna switch out uh, Ross with Romita just for now I mean you know I could always pick up the the regular Alex Ross cover somewhere down the road so who knows now this book, this is the one I had to order off of eBay. It is a art germ variant. Uh, as a lot of you who watch my videos uh, have seen recently that I've been really going hard on um, art germ stuff. Not because I'm, you know, jumping on the bandwagon or whatever. I just, I really like art germs artwork. And the only reason why I've been getting his stuff a lot recently is because the shops around here are starting to get more of his stuff when it comes out. Prior prior to 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 that, like it was very rare, you know, or you know, you had to be at the shop like when it opened if they had any of his stuff because it would go really fast. 
Anyway, so I wasn't able to, to get this when it came out, so I ordered it, and it's, of course, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one. Really like this cover. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really love when Art Germ draws his ladies. Uh, in particular, I really love the She-Hulk cover he did for the Fantastic Four wedding issue recently. But I like the way he draws some, some of the guys, too, you know? And Spidey is Spidey. Now, I know a lot of people um, were throwing some hate on his uh, variant of Action 1000 just because they were saying uh, Superman's face looked very... Uh, I heard someone say very, like, porcelain-like. I I didn't happen to get the, the art germ for Action 1000 because I think you had to order away for that. And I usually stick to books I could get in my shop or in the rare case. If I can't, I'll order it off eBay if the price is right. But, uh, yeah, I usually, like, for from, like, you know, store exclusives and that, I usually stay away from that stuff although there have been a few store exclusives that i've seen that i would love to own but i i you know pump the brakes you know anyway now this next book ties in as i was saying when i was reading conan and i saw those those timely issues that are supposed to come out now when i saw this in previews let's just say excuse me again my ego got a bit inflated. <laughs> now, what I mean by that is, when I saw this was coming out, I felt Marvel listened to me. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, a little while back, when the Fantastic Four were making their big return, Marvel put out a complete reprint right down to the original ads, a facsimile, as some may say, um, of Fantastic Four number one. And I, of course, bought it. And I even did a review of it. And I was saying in that video that I really hope Marvel does this more in the future. You know, whether it be a, a reprint of some more number ones or just, you know, any classic issues from the Silver Age or the Bronze Age or whatever. Well, when, again, when I saw this in previews, I was like, oh, they listened. <laughs> Because last week, we got a complete reprint, right down to the ads and everything, of Marvel Presents, issue number three, featuring the Guardians of the Galaxy. And, <laughs> and, and I read this uh, yesterday, and this was a really good story, because it, it, it does a little mini origins on the characters and whatnot, and um, yeah, it's really good. So, we got that. And the final book, as I said, the one real back issue that I got, and the first check off my top 10 list of 2019, is The Incredible Hulk, issue number 212. This is the first appearance of The Constrictor. Uh, I've wanted this for a while now. I can never find it around here. So when I saw this in the bin for 8 bucks, I was like, sold. And, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm currently working on two other books on my top ten list. Another Hulk book. I believe it's, um, The Incredible Hulk 141 or 142. No, I'm not going after a 181. <laughs> Let's be reasonable here. No, I'm, I'm actually trying to hunt down, um, the first appearance of, uh, uh Doc Samson. I always really like that character and his flowing green hair. And I'm also currently working on um, getting Marvel Team Up issue number one. So if if I could secure those two books, I'm pretty good. I'll, I'll be three books down and seven to go. So fingers crossed. Anyway, folks, I've talked your ear off for overnight, almost 20 minutes now. I think it's time to end this. Go finish my coffee and watch some Netflix. Alrighty. Uh, I will have another video for you guys later on during the week. It's actually my contest winnings from Genome Presents 100 uh, subscriber contest. So be on the lookout for that. And um, that's about it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, I'm Punisher Comics, and I am out.